Okay, Notebook LM is great, but over 4 million people use it per month. That's over 4 million people making podcasts, all using the same repetitive two voices that Notebook LM forces them to use. Well, check out what I found. Welcome back, everyone. Ready for another deep dive. Today, we're looking at some really cool stuff happening with podcasts uh, and AI. Yeah. I've heard little bits and pieces about this, but fill me in. Imagine a world where AI can create a podcast in your own voice in 40 languages with just a few clicks. Well, that future is here. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Can you tell us more about this technology and who's behind it? Absolutely. The technology is designed to automatically create multi-speaker podcasts. But here's where it gets really interesting. They're not just focusing on efficiency. They're actually trying to make these AI-generated podcasts sound more human. So everything you just heard in that second recording was generated fully by AI using a digital clone of my voice. I didn't say any of it myself. And it's blown my mind learning how easy it is to do this. So in this video, you'll learn what the new tool is I found that you can use to generate podcasts that stand out from all of those Notebook LM podcasts out there. And I'll show you exactly how to generate your own podcast episodes with it in just a single click, completely automatically. So let's start with the name of the tool that lets you do this. It's called Gen FM, and it's a brand new offering from the company E11 Labs. We're on the 11 Labs website right now. There's a link to the website in the description to this video, so you can start using it free. And 11 Labs are leaders in text-to-speech technology and also voice cloning technology. I've made videos on them in the past on this channel. And once you've set up and logged in to your free 11 Labs account using the link in the description to this video, you'll see this screen here. And now we're going to run through the process of how to generate your own podcast episode in your own voice. It's really as easy as making a podcast episode in Notebook LM is. So check this out, here's how you do it. You wanna click on projects down here on the left-hand side to get started. And next, because we want to make a podcast, you need to head over here to the new feature, Gen FM, generate a podcast. So you're just gonna click this to make the podcast episode in your own voice. And now on this screen, we need to point Gen FM to any information on the topic that we want our podcast episode to be about. So we have two options here on how to give GenFM the information it needs. We can either upload a document containing the information, which we can see the button for here, or we can point GenFM to a website, so a URL that contains the information. So for the recording you heard at the start of this video, I just pointed GenFM to this news article that was written about this AI podcast technology, and it was easy as that. Then you just choose the host voice and the voice of the guest that you want on your podcast. So you can see here, I've chosen my voice clone as the host voice so that the podcast is in my own voice. I'll show you how to get that set up in just a second. And for the guest voice, I've just chosen this female voice, Jessica. Then just leave these last two settings to what they're set as by default. And it's as easy as pressing generate button down here to get the AI generated podcast episode made in your own voice. So let's do that now. And there we go. The AI is now going to do its thing. It's going to read through that article that I've linked it to, to understand what is being said, and then generate a natural sounding podcast conversation between two different guests, so two different voices, automatically for us in just a few minutes. You'll see it's already at 50%. So I'll leave this to do its thing, and then open this up when the episode is ready for us. Great. And when GenFM has finished doing its thing, you'll see this screen here. You can see everything that the voices will say written out in this script here, color coded by the different guests. So everything I say is in green and everything the guest says is in purple. And if we click to the very start and click on this drop down box here, play until end, we can hear this podcast episode in full. So let's have a little listen to some of that now. Imagine a world where AI can create a podcast in your own voice in 32 languages with just a few clicks. Well, that future is here. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Can you tell us more about this technology and who's behind it? Absolutely. The technology is designed to automatically create multi-speaker podcasts. But here's where it gets really interesting. They're not just focusing on efficiency. 
they're actually trying to make these AI generated podcasts sound more human. And one of the great things about having the podcast episode written out on screen in Gen FM for us, that's something that we don't get in Notebook LM, but in Gen FM, because we have it written out, we can actually go in and change what is said in the podcast, giving us a level of customization that we don't have with Google Network LM. Let me show you that. So look at this part where I say, in your own voice in 32 languages. We'll just play that again for a reminder. In your own voice in 32 languages. I can change that number. So say I knew that it was actually 40 languages and the article was outdated. I could update the text to 40 languages, hit regenerate, and in seconds, this podcast is updated. Let's have a listen to that new recording. In your own voice in 40 languages. There we go. So there's one more thing you need to do in Gen FM that I haven't shown you yet to get these podcasts generated in your own voice so effectively. And that's creating your voice clone. So let's run through how to quickly do that now. So before you generate your podcast, when you're just in the main screen area of 11 Labs that you're seeing on screen now, you need to head over to Voices to start making your voice clone over here on the left. And then to click this button up here to add a new voice. And you'll see a few options on screen here, but the one you need to actually click is this one here, professional voice clone. You'll see it's grayed out because I've already created mine, but the professional voice clone is the one that you need to pick. Anything else and uh, the voice clone won't sound good enough to pull this off. So make sure you're choosing this professional voice clone. You have to be on this creator plan right here to build that professional voice clone. Normally $22 a month, although there's an $11 a month sale at the moment. And if you're not on this plan, you won't be able to make that professional voice clone. So at that $22 a month price tag, this clearly isn't for everyone like Notebook LM, which is free. This is for people who are much more serious about this, creating AI generated podcasts that they can actually use within their personal brands. This is the way to go for those types of people. And I don't think you should use this to completely replace you recording podcasts altogether. But if there's days where you're away and you just can't record that day, or if you want to increase your like weekly output to a level that you just can't do on your own, having an exact duplicate of you, like a digital voice clone that can make these podcast episodes so quickly is such a great value add. I'm really excited to see where this technology goes in the future. I think it's just going to get more realistic and more useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this technology too. And now that you have a digital clone of your voice making podcast episodes like that, how about a digital clone of you as a person that you can use to replace you on camera? Well, if you want to learn how to do that, I've done a step-by-step -step tutorial on really easy way of doing that too. So check this video out next. And if you found this video useful, obviously subscribe to the channel for more like this in the future. Peace out. See you next time.